Hello, Gemini. I am here to do your April bi-weeklies. What's going on for my Gemini? Let me plug in my mic. Um, <clears throat> for the first two weeks of April, the song I got for you guys was It's Only Odessa. So it's, it's only water, it's only fire, it's only love. So I feel like maybe that's a reminder to you. Like, if you're afraid to love, you need to, um, it's only love. It's only, you know, like, yeah, it's can hurt. And yeah, you could, you know, it could end badly. But at the end of the day, it's only an emotion. Um, you know, just do, take risks. Maybe that's your reminder. You need to Take some risks in life, Gemini, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, because you might not be putting yourself out there the way that you should. So I feel like that's the big message that I'm getting right now, just from the pre-meditation um, song shuffle. But okay, let's see what the cards have to say. What is going on? What is the overall energy between you and another person for those first two weeks of April? Knave of Swords. I feel like Either you're getting to know somebody or you're like, you're, you're observing. Somebody might be observing you. It could be dealing with another air sign, but you're getting to know somebody. You're in like the early stages of probably communication, might be checking out their social media, seeing what this person's all about. Yeah, definitely early stages of communications. I feel like there's a lot of communication happening. Um... And you're taking your time, Gemini. You are really doing your research, making sure that this person is who they say they are, um, is kind of, you know, the real deal before you jump into it. Because I feel like you have been burned in the past, so your feelings towards, you know, moving, moving towards somebody, it's like you don't want to just dive into something. But I think that reminder is that, like, don't hold yourself too much back because, you know, you're going to miss out on an opportunity. Um, okay, yeah, there you are. Having a little bit of doubts. Having a little bit of doubts. The devil. What's he doing here? Um, <laughs> ooh, might be here because there's a lot of sexual tension maybe maybe he's representing like a lot of lust here um you you this person I feel like is very very attracted to you could be dealing with the Capricorn um but this person is very very attracted to you Gemini I think you're attracted to them but you have your doubts on the situation like there's something you're not trusting there's something you're not trusting about this person. It could be that they remind you from somebody from the past that might have screwed you over. So you're doing your investigations, making sure that they are the real deal. Um, but I do feel like this person is very attracted to you. Um, very attracted to you. They want this new beginning with you. And um, they are... They're, yeah, they're, they're definitely feeling like, um, they're feeling like they want to, want to jump your bones. I don't know. So there's a lot of sexual attraction. There's a lot of communication happening, but this person's kind of in a rush. They want to kind of just get right into it. Um, Okay. So I feel like there is some communication coming your way. You might feel like this person has a lot of options. So you're like, you're a little doubtful that they would choose you or they're, you're kind of like in a headspace where you're like, this person is so attractive. This person, like everybody likes them. Everybody wants them. Why would they want me? And this person's going to communicate something to you. And I think what they're going to communicate is that they do want you. And like, on the same token, they also see you that way as somebody very attractive, somebody very attractive that has tons of options. So um, they're, they're, this person is kind of taking on the dominant energy and they're going to, they, they're going to communicate with you. They're going to communicate with you like that they want this 
start with you that they want to like, you know, get things off the ground. They might be very flirtatious. This person might have like fire in their chart or be a fire sign, <clears throat> but they're going to be very flirtatious. They might be a little bit forward with you, Gemini, which I don't know. I think part of you, it's like into that, but part of you is kind of like, um, wants to take things slow, wants to get to know this person, wants to make sure it's the right move. But this person is going to be very like, strong-willed in the passion department they kind of want to jump right into that part of it and you're like no 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 <clears throat> yeah you want commitment and at the core this person does as well they just have a different way of expressing that and the part of it is like they want to be connected like mind body spirit um you have anxiety that this person's not going to want commitment with you, but they do. They do. And they're just feeling out in the cold right now by you. So that's why they feel like if you um, give in to them, like if you have that passion connection with them, they feel like then they will... Um, they will be able to, you know, know for sure that you're interested in them. But they are going to communicate with you pretty soon. They're going to tell you their feelings. I feel like they want this new beginning. They're going to communicate that they want this new beginning with you. They're going to ask you kind of to make a decision. Like, do you want me? Do you not? This person's very, like, moves forward very quickly. So um, this person, this person likes to jump right into things. And I think the fact that you're taking it slow and you're observing and you're doing all this stuff is like kind of getting them antsy. So they're going to just communicate with you. They're just going to be like, hey, what's the deal? Like, are we doing this or what? I'm interested in you. If not, I'm going to move on. So you could be dealing with like an Aries or something because this sounds like somebody who's just very headstrong, very on the go. That's fine if you don't like me, but if not, I'm going to be out. So um, that's kind of what you're dealing with right now. And the extended, I'm going to see what messages are from this person, what actions they're going to take, what advice from spirit is, and what is blocking this connection. So if you are interested, I will see you there. All right, guys. Bye.